Hey, uh, welcome back. I hope you're on this channel right now to learn how to save some money with your air conditioning expenses. If you have a portable air conditioner like the one behind me and your electric bills are too high, I'm going to show you some things that you could save a few dollars with very, very simply. So stay tuned and let's watch, let's get into it. Now, if you have a unit like I do here, essential uh, wall in one unit, I want to bring that around and show you. On a, on a portable air conditioner, you'll either have one or two hoses. The problem with, of course, that is that if you've got a du du dual system, that's the best system that you can have. And that is very effective in getting and, ex and exhausting the heat outside. The negative side of all this that I'm going to talk about is that these tubes aren't insulated. And because they're not insulated, while you'll be pulling fresh air out from the outside, right, and bringing it in, when this exhaust, the temperature in here could reach as much as over 120 degrees. And that is going to transfer that heat from this uninsulated tube back into the room. So your air conditioner is going to be working twice as hard to be able to not only overcome the heat in the room, but overcome the heat being exhausted through that. So today, I'm going to show you basically what I'm going to be doing is taking some insulation. Now, they come in, you can get insulation for this either in a prefixed tube and going over this unit. But the problem with those is that they're very stiff and they don't bend well. But where this, these insulated panels are basically air bubbles and they prevent heat transfer uh, through them in an effective way. So I'm going to wrap these tubes and that's going to give us a level of insulation here. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to reduce my heat transfer from the exhaust tube into the room. And that is going to be doing a great job. So I'm going to start doing that. And basically I'm going to be wrapping, taking this unit <clears throat> and essentially wrapping the entire tube. So I'm going to get started with that and, and interrupt and per periodically you'll see me as I'm going through this. As you can see, I've wrapped the hoses coming out of the air conditioner. Now, before when I used the air gun, while this one was outputting at 62 degrees, and it probably is, let's try to look at that now, saying I'm outputting at 59. I'm hoping you can see that, but no, you can't. It's outputting at 59 degrees. But when I would go over here and check this out, this was outputting on the exhaust at almost 100 degrees. That's how much heat is being generated. And when I go over here, yeah, input and exhaust. Now, before I did this, when I did my heat gun, I was outputting at over 100 degrees. But now, with the insulation, it's room temperature. The room temperature right now is 83 degrees in this room, and that's outputting it. That. So I will eventually get in there, and I'm going to get some duct tape and finish up all those joints. But the bottom line is, this is going to save me air conditioning electricity. It's going to make my portable air conditioner more effective. At the same time, because I'm not actually using the air hoses are not causing a heat transfer into the room, it's going to reduce not only by doing what I'm do, I just did, give me more efficiency by insulating the intake and exhaust hoses. But it also, we're going to reduce my overall electric bill and increase the efficiency of the air conditioner because it doesn't have to not only try to cool the room, but also it doesn't have to try to over kill the effect of the hoses transferring heat back into the room. Now, the other thing I did is I insulated the garage door. So as you can see, I've got the insulation panels for the entire garage 
And that made a big difference. How much of a difference, you might ask? Well, right now, the exterior temperature on the outside of this house right now, this is Florida, is over, is almost 100 degrees. But when I touch the panels, they're exactly 81 degrees, which is exactly the temperature of the internal temperature in the garage right now because I just put the air conditioning on. So that is going to save me putting the insulation on the ducts and on the garage door. That's going to increase the, increase the air conditioning efficiency so that that portable air conditioner will be able to cool the garage down faster and my workshop at the same time without having to strain to keep it going. So, hey, I'm glad you're still with me. I, as you can see, we efficiently added some insulation to the, the exhaust and intake ducts. That's going to reduce the heat transfer from those tubes into the room, which is going to increase the effic overall efficiency of the air conditioner. Also, I had a steel garage door, which was also heat transferring heat and really hot part of the day. And if you touch, if you actually put a heat sensor on the garage door, it was the same temperatures in the outdoor outdoor by putting the insulation panels uh, with the heat thermometer sensor it was the same temperature as the room at when we did the test which was about 80 degrees uh, i didn't have the air conditioner run a long time so i hope you've enjoyed this content don't forget to like share and subscribe check out my other videos check out my awesome uh t-shirt store where i've got awesome, awesome grandpa t-shirts and I'll be back with your next video, your next tech review, your next tech news in the future. This is your grandpa out. I want to hear you in the comments. Until next time, you have a great day and grandpa loves you.